Mga idol at kabayan, breaking news! Israel binomba ang Syria matapos maglunsad ng rocket ang Syria sa Israel. Agad na nagsagawa ng counter-offensive ang Israel Air Force. Binomba nito ang base ng 5th Armored Division ng Syrian Army, Syrian Air Defense Force at ang runway ng Damascus Airport. Ganito kabangis ang Israel pagdating sa kanilang firepower. America, all out na matapos magbitiw ng babala ni US Secretary Blinken sa mga bansa sa United Nations Assembly. Sinabi niya, make no mistake na atakin ang US forces dahil meron itong karapatan na depensahan ang kanyang sarili at sila ay gaganti ng mas malakas at mabilis sa mga kalaban. But, if Iran or its proxies attack US personnel anywhere, Make no mistake, we will defend our people, we will defend our security, swiftly and decisively. Mga F-16 Fighting Falcon lumipad at dumating na sa US Central Command sa Middle East bilang karagdagang kwarsa. Mas nagtatago sa ilalim ng mga moske. Israel Defense Force pinatunayan sa mundo na ginagamit ng Hamas ang mga moske bilang kanilang lungga. Isang libong toniladang armas dumating na sa Israel. Syria muling binomba ng Israel. Naglunsad ang Israel ang mga fighter jets nito upang wasakin ang headquarters ng 5th Armored Division ng Syrian Army sa Isra. Hindi lang yan mga kabayan, maging ang radar batalyon at weapon depot ng Syrian Air Defense Force ay tinagit din ng Israel Air Force. Ito ay matapos mamonitor at ma-intercept ng Israel Defense Force ang ilang mga rockets na inilunsad mula sa Syria. Dahil dito ayon sa source, walong sundalo ng Syria ang nasuwi. Dagdag pa dito mga kabayan, binomba din ng Israel Air Force ang runway ng Damascus Airport sa Syria dahil sa pinsalang natamo ng paliparan pansamantalang isinara muna ang Nasab Airport. Dito ipinakita ng Israel ang kanilang flexibility at kadaliang kuminos upang magsagawa ng counter-offensive sa mga kalaban. Ipinakita naman ng Israel Forces ang isa sa kanilang operasyong ginawa na nagpapatunay na ginagamit ng Hamas ang mga moske bilang kanilang lungga. Isang moske na pasok ng mga tropa ng Israel at ipinakita sa publiko ang kanilang na diskubre. Dito ginagawa ng Hamas ang kanilang mga pag-uusap at imbakan ng mga armas at pampasabog. Ipinakita naman ng Israel Ministry of Defense ang tuloy-tuloy na pagdating ng mga armas sa kanilang bansa. Malugod na tinanggap ng Israeli Defense Establishment ang pagdating ng 45th cargo plane sa Israel. Humigit kumulang isang libong tunilada ng mga armas ang dumating upang palakasin pa ang mga kakayahan ng Israel Defense Force. Amerika nagpahayag ng pinakamalakas na babala nito sa Sa ginanap na United Nations Assembly nitong nakalipas na araw, inihayag ni U.S. State Secretary Blinken sa iba't ibang mga bansa at sa Iran na kasama sa usaping ito. Malinaw na ipinahayag ng Amerika na hindi ito naghahanap ng labanan sa Iran pero kapag ipinagpatuloy ng mga proxy o mga tuta ng Iran at ng Iran mismo ang pagtarget sa U.S. forces kahit saan man sa mundo, babala ni Secretary, make no mistake, didipensahan ito ang kanilang mga tropa at gaganti ito ng mas mabilis at malakas. Let me say this before this council, and let me say what we've consistently said to Iranian officials through other channels. The United States does not seek conflict with Iran. We do not want this war to widen. But if Iran or its proxies attack U.S. personnel anywhere, make no mistake, we will defend our people, we will defend our security swiftly and decisively. Kung sa tingin nyo nagbibiro ang Amerika, Amerika, all out na, kagabi, mga Baltiral fighter ng US Air Force mula pa sa kanilang base sa Estados Unidos. Lumipad, patungong US Central Command sa Middle East, dumating na ang 119 Expeditionary Fighter Squadron, F-16 Fighting Falcon Aircraft sa US Central Command Area of Responsibility upang palakasin pa ang postura ng Amerika upang pigilan ang higit pang pagsalakay ng mga kalaban at suportahan ang Israel. Tatlong US Air Force 
Force KC-135 Stratotankers ang dumating sa isang undisclosed location sa Central Command Area of Responsibility. Ang tatlong KC-135 ay nagbigay ng suporta sa mga F-16 multi-role fighter upang makarating ito sa US Central Command. Ayon sa US Air Force na nakabase sa Middle East, maswerte sila na kasama nila ang 119 Expeditionary Fighter Squadron F-16 Fighting Falcon sa lugar ng US Central Command bilang isang napakausay na platform sa kakayahan ng F-16 ang puwersa ng Amerika at ang puwersa ng koalisyon ay makakapagtatag ng isang air superiority sa pinagtatanong ng air space dahil sa subok na ang F-16 pagdating sa air-to-air -air combat at air-to-ground attack nakahanda na rin ang mga TAD missiles at karagdagang batalyon para sa mga Patriot missiles bilang patunay ito ang naging pahayag ng Pentagon Everyone, uh, just a few things uh, to pass along and then I'll be happy to take your questions. Uh, the Department of Defense continues to remain actively engaged on the situation in the Middle East and is focused on three primary objectives. Supporting Israel's right to defend itself from terrorist attacks, deterring a broader conflict in the region, and ensuring force protection for our troops. And uh, allow me to just briefly address each of these. Uh, since Hamas's cruel terrorist attacks on Israel on October 7th, the United States has rushed security assistance to Israel to enable Israel Defense Forces to restore, restore security and protect the Israeli people. And as we've highlighted, this includes capabilities requested by Israel to include precision-guided munitions, small-diameter bombs, artillery ammunition, Iron Dome interceptors, and other critical equipment continue to stay in close contact with our Israeli partners on their defense needs and remain committed to the security of Israel. We also continue to underscore the importance of safeguarding innocent civilians in this conflict, both Palestinian and Israeli, and ensuring the delivery of humanitarian aid to those in need. Since that Hamas terrorist attack, we've also been crystal clear that we do not want to see the situation in Israel Biden, or widen rather, into a broader regional conflict. And as you've heard President Biden, Secretary Austin, and other senior U.S. leaders say, our message to any country or group thinking about trying to take advantage of this situation to widen the conflict is don't. We've already deployed a significant number of additional U.S. military capabilities into the region to bolster our regional deterrence efforts, strengthen our capabilities there, and enhance our ability to respond to a range of contingencies. In addition to the capabilities that we've already announced, I can also confirm that the New Jersey Air National Guard's 119th Expeditionary Fighter Squadron arrived within U.S. Central Command's area of responsibility today with additional F-16 Fighting Falcon Squadron uh, bolstering U.S. posture to deter further aggression in the region. And again, it is our aim to avoid any regional expansion of Israel's conflict with Hamas but we stand ready and prepared to protect and defend our partners and our interests and will act to do so. Finally, in terms of force protection, uh, it, the message is simple. As Secretary Austin has consistently made clear, we will take all necessary measures to defend our troops and our interests overseas. Laban, Pina.